Hello, I'm DUI Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld, and I'd like to talk to you for a minute about one reason that many people get stopped and ultimately arrested for driving under the influence, and that's driving without headlights on. Driving without headlights on is actually very common now that most cars have automatic headlights. Back in the 1970s, when a lot of the original research was done on driving under the influence, driving without headlights was a clue that someone may be impaired for purposes of driving. Today, most of the time, when someone stopped for driving without their headlights on, it's because the valet turned them off and they forgot to turn them back on, or someone was pulling out of a parking structure and the lights didn't get a chance to turn back on themselves. However, police officers still use this as a clue that someone may be impaired for purposes of driving. It's important to note that although it was originally listed as a clue, it's not that valid of a clue anymore based on technology improvements and changes in cars as well as lighting outside. It's important to know that driving without headlights on does not show that somebody is impaired for purposes of driving. It just shows that the lights didn't turn on. If somebody is going to be convicted of driving under the influence, they need to be impaired for purposes of driving. Although driving without your headlights on may be a vehicle code violation, it does not equal impairment, it does not equal drunk driving. It's important to know that just because somebody is stopped from driving without headlights on does not mean that they should be convicted of a DUI.